here I'm gonna say wow this is I'm gonna go wow and I'm gonna comment I'm gonna say what a beautiful scene <laughs> Jean-Serge Gagnon and today we're going to talk about why should you be using active group user software now you might be thinking what is active group user software and all that good stuff but before we go there I want to show you what do you think I've been using what well, can I I can't even I've been using that I have an extra screen there and I've been using that little that picture on the screen because I thought kind of cool right it looks like I'm doing this right but anyways okay so before we go to that let's hear this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so really to answer that question why should you be using active group user software you're going to need to understand what that software is a little bit but we're going to tell you that in a second why you should be using it but first I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go check out the video at cis505.jsgagnon because I'm going to be sharing my screen and showing you how that software works and why you need to be using it all right so let's get right to it let's start by just saying why you should be using this right so why should you be using active group user software right you might be thinking what is that we're going to explain what that software is in a second but before we even go there I want to kind of cover why you should be using it right so number one you're going to drastically reduce your time on Facebook you might be thinking well I'm already cutting my time on Facebook but you know if you don't you have to take the time to do the right things that are going to give you results on Facebook and you might be spending like a ridiculous amount of time right and spend instead of spending four to six hours a day you could be spending just 30 minutes getting the same results that those four to six hours give you and I'll explain to you why but that's one of the reasons why you want to use active group user software the next other the other reason is you want to be able to know where you stand with every single lead you have on Facebook like a, I mean seriously right now if you've been using Facebook to build leads for you know six months a year even a couple of months maybe right even more many years do you know like every single friend you have on Facebook every single connection you have on Facebook where you stand with them like if if I was to ask you just go to your friend list and go go to the you know you friend number 250 and click on their name and tell me do you know exactly where you stand with them right you probably can't you, you might be able to know for maybe 10 20 30 of them the ones that you're really close with and that kind of stuff but other than that you don't know but this is what the software does for you as well it lets you know exactly where you stand I'll explain to you what I mean by that in a moment so the other thing the the thing is that you know let's ask ourselves why does that matter why do you need to know where you stand why do you want to spend just 30 minutes well obviously you want to spend just 30 minutes a day instead of four hours because you can do other things with that three and a half hours or even if you're spending six right now you can do something else with the five and a half hours right the, on Facebook instead of being on Facebook you can be you know uh, having a time with your family you can be making sure your funnels are set up right you can be doing sales you can be having conversations you can be doing all sorts of other things that you wouldn't have time to if you had to spend all that time to build your audience right so because we're talking about building an audience building a fan base like having people know who you are having people buy from you right that's what we're talking about right so how does that how does that work so what are leaders telling you to do right now and this is this is the most important thing I want you to if you you don't get anything else out of this you know episode just have this remember that what I'm gonna tell you to do is exactly the same as what leaders are telling you to do so what are leaders telling you to do right they're telling you number one let's put numbers here number one they want you to uh, post uh, regularly right so maybe even every day right every day is best on Facebook at least once a day twice a day something like that 
uh, just to have some momentum right even Facebook actually you know you'll give you these like awards or whatever if you're posting more than I don't know what it is but I think it's probably you know 30 times a, a month right they'll give you like this award and if you do more than that they'll give you an even better words so of course Facebook wants you to post all the time so leaders also tell you to do that and I tell you to do that you need to be posting that's like number one rule that's you know so that might be in uh, yeah anyways you have to be posting every day number two you've got to be engaging on other people's posts you have to be engaging which means commenting and reacting to other people's posts now this is super important for a couple of reasons first Facebook will not show your stuff to people if you're not engaging on the platform on other people's stuff it's a reciprocity thing right it's a it's basically part of the algorithm if you're not engaging on other people's stuff Facebook's gonna be like oh this person isn't even active I'm not gonna bother sharing their stuff so that's why if you post nobody comments or nobody likes your posts it's because of that because you're not engaging on other people's stuff and Facebook is not showing your stuff to other people it's not because your stuff's not good it's because Facebook is kind of like penalizing you for not taking the actions that it wants you to take so you kind of have, don't have a choice so that's number two you have to be doing that too right and number three you need uh you must respond or well I guess I guess it's either comment <coughs> well yeah it's probably the best thing respond let's say respond to others comments on your post on your posts <coughs> so if you do a post on Facebook and somebody comments on it you have to be responding to their comments because Facebook again is tracking that so this is something that you need to be doing and you might be thinking well geez if I do all that eh, that's why it takes me four hours a day well yes there are certain things that you will have to kind of do <coughs> to keep the momentum going right but really the thing that active group users helps you with is this it it's like insane you're gonna see in a minute when I when I explain it but that's the part that is really difficult to do in a way that is efficient right because the thing that happens is if you uh use the news feed you're gonna be like if I go to Facebook here right I'm just gonna be on the news feed here I'm gonna you know react to this picture here I'm gonna say wow this is I'm gonna go wow and I'm gonna comment I'm gonna say what a beautiful scene right I'm just gonna comment like that right so now I've engaged on a post I've commented on it I keep going down my feed and I, I find something else on my feed and you know I read a little bit of it and I'm gonna again I'm gonna come up here I'm gonna say I'm gonna love it and whoops I don't know why my computer does that it goes <laughs> and then I just say uh I'm gonna say I'm gonna say you're an inspiration all right so now now I'm doing what leaders you know and I'm also telling you you need to be doing this but you're gonna see in a minute the difference between what I what I do and what I'm showing you right now the problem with doing what I'm doing right now which is what you're probably doing with what leaders are teaching you is that you're going through the news feed here and you're basically going to be commenting and reacting on what Facebook is showing you so Facebook is deciding what you see and whose post you see you see how it's not like it's loading that's because it's kind of more or less thinking of what to show next on your feed on my feed in my case right so it's showing me things that Facebook thinks I'm interested in when Facebook is probably right these are people that I've engaged with before these are people that these are kinds the types of content that I actually like there's um uh you know the kinds of content that I typically respond to that I typically engage on and that's what Facebook is showing me right that's what Facebook does it shows you what it thinks you're going to react to because you know Facebook wants you to react and wants you to engage and wants you to be in, in on the on the feed so if they not not on feed and they want you to be engaging on stuff so they're going to show you things that they think you'll engage on right that's kind of how it works so now the issue with that is they're going to see the stuff from the same people the same stuff from the most you know the people you're engaging with always 
the same 20 to 40 people right that's what Facebook does it just because that's enough that's enough for 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 you to stay engaged on the platform that's what Facebook wants right they're going to be just showing you the stuff that they know you'll probably react to you're probably going to comment on right so the difference with active group users is uh, well there's a couple things first you will be in control of what people's posts you engage on you're not going to go through the feed you're just going to use the software I'm actually going to load it up here if I load up the software uh just give it a second here I probably should have opened it up ahead of time but uh let's just load it up so you can see how this works or at least how you can use it I mean you know day one when you start using the software you're not going to have let's let's actually go back here let me go back to my 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 camera and let me just go fix that over here because I do have the tab open already instead of waiting for you know an hour for it to load I'm just going to come here and get it right there okay so this one go back here and there we go okay so let's go back to the screen here all right so I guess I moved my I might I moved this so that makes it kind of like go out of the screen here all right so this is the active group users the view of the list of users I'm going to explain to you how you get all that but the point is here that you get a list of who to uh, engage with right so there's all these numbers up here I mean obviously there's a lot of stuff but just to kind of explain to you a little bit how that works uh do I am I missing something here oh yes I think there's more okay so if I just scroll because we don't really need to see the beginning of it but basically what we have here we have the Facebook posts the Facebook comments we have the visits the reaction the comments the the per, uh, pms the friends and the uh, mentions okay so what this list lets you do it lets you decide do I want to visit everybody like let's just say I I can come up here go into contacts which is where I should have been in the beginning anyways uh, and then basically it lists me all the users that I have been in and that I have interacted with and also well, actually let me back up a second so the first thing that you do with this software is tell it where which groups your target market hangs out in <clears throat> so when we when you saw here when I loaded this earlier actually you didn't see it because I didn't let it finish but when you first use the software you tell it the groups that your target market hangs out in all right so let's just lo load this up you'll see so me I just put these are groups that have to do with affiliate marketing online marketing these are the groups that I want that I want to look for users in so what happens is whenever <clears throat> the software runs it'll go to these groups to find the users that are actually commenting and posting in those groups right so that's why it's called active group users because it finds active users in groups <laughs> so it should probably be active users in groups instead of active group users maybe I don't know but anyways it's been called active group users for since it got created so <coughs> so then what what happens is it gives you a list of those users that are actually commenting and posting in groups you know how you can have a group with 10,000 users but there's only 200 people that comment over a period of a week right so you you could go to the members list like some software does where it goes and gets a list of members and then goes looks at the profile for keywords and things like that and gives you a lead right but that person has no clue who you are sure you can get a list of leads that are interested in in tennis right from the keywords with some software but and then you can send them a message right but if they have no clue who you are they're probably going to ignore you right so this software gets you the list of users that are actually active in groups so that you can then go to their profile and engage on their posts see if I click on any of these let's just go to one that I haven't visited in a while so joy here if I click on her name I click here it takes me to Facebook on her profile directly I don't have to go to the news feed I don't have to this you know I don't have to find her link click it paste it whatever it takes me straight to Facebook on her page right and uh and then I can come in here and I can comment on some some of her posts right I can say right here coffee the sponsor pretending to listen during early morning meetings 
I'm going to just laugh at that and my computer is slow because you know I'm recording and all that but normally it's a bit more spiffy than this but uh, I'm just going to say ha ah, it sure is okay so I'm just going to comment on that normally what I do is I go through and I comment on three on three posts right I had a thought and uh, then bounce off each other and now I can't find either one <laughs> that's another funny one she's a joker is this one I guess hey eh? and I go back down here and I say funny one funny one right so I'm just going to do two right now so then what I do is I just close the tab uh, you can't see that but I'm closing the tab right here takes me back to the active group user software and then I just come in here and I say two and two now you can leave these numbers you can you don't have to fill this in you can leave it blank if you want and the next day it'll kind of figure it out uh, but I use this way and then then when I save this it lets it shows right here that I when I go back to her it'll uh, you'll see right here that it says that I commented on two comments a few seconds ago right so that kind of keeps track of that now the thing is like I said this keeps track of things so now you know now I know that for joy here I visited her profile 51 times now if I want to know exactly what that is I can go here and I can mouse over her the visits and it kind of shows me you know one minute ago nine days ago 16 days ago 22. so the idea here and this is this is what you need to do to get people to know you and like you on Facebook whether you use software or not you got to do this and that's what these things are so the reason why oh right here so the reason why you do these things that leaders tell you to do is because as you engage on other people's posts and as you respond to their comments they start to notice you they start to see what kind of person you are because you're the kinds of comments you leave the kinds of replies you put on the, the comments they put and they start to know you right and this is called an exposure each time is an exposure to you right so after so that's and this is what happens it doesn't matter whether you use software or not <clears throat> but if you're not using the software you won't know you're just gonna have to guess if it's time because what happens is after enough exposures they know you after enough exposures they know you because it stays in their brain as they're seeing you comment and react and they start to kind of you know recognize your face because your profile picture's there and in the comments and notifications and all that right <clears throat> so they start to recognize you and they start to be like oh I know this this person and then after a while right uh, after more <clears throat> more exposures exposures they like you right so that's just kind of how it works the more people see you and also see that you're somebody who's actually doing something for them they like you now what like I said whether you use a software or not this is still how it works the problem with doing it without the software is that you're relying on Facebook to show that person's post enough so that you get in their radar right because in the end that's what you want on Facebook you're posting content you're creating a, a, a fan page you're creating content on there or on your profile whatever it is so that people start to recognize you and know what you're about so that you can then have a conversation with them and sell them something right I mean I'm, obviously it's not the you know if it, can, it can't be about just selling but that's kind of why we start a business right we want to get sales we don't want to get people we want them to be happy with what they are buying right and that's what you want that's why you need to do these things right you need to do these things because after even more even more exposures they trust you so I don't know if you've ever heard of this but there's the no like trust processor factor that happens when people go through enough exposures it's like if you're seeing an ad on tv for a car right I mean I, I don't know if you still watch tv nowadays but still there's ads on youtube or whatever right if you see an ad often enough you're going to start to recognize that it's going to go in your subconscious and you're going to start to think that you want that that you need that that's how advertising works <coughs> so on on social media on facebook it's the exact same thing 
but the, th the difference is that you need to be able to <clears throat> kind of control that process so that you know who has seen enough of you to to know that they like you who has seen enough to know that they know you and like you and trust you <clears throat> and what the software does is it tracks that for you so that's why when I look at the list here I see that I visited her 51 times you know you see the days there one day nine days 16 days that's because I do visit people after six days I visit them again to go see if they post something new so I can get in their radar again and have them notice me right you'll do the same thing you're going to get back in their radar by commenting on another one of their posts so they're going to be like oh I remember that person said this last week or two weeks ago or whenever some you know one of these times they're going to remember something you said and they're going to feel <clears throat> connected right and whether you do it using the software or not it's the same process the difference is that now I know you know for when I look at this list here I know I can sort by the number of visits I say on visits here <coughs> so now <coughs> if I look at the number of visits right I can go and say okay I'm gonna go have a conversation with these people that I visited at least 20 times or 50 times or whatever number you choose <coughs> or number of comments or number of reactions that you did on their posts because I can see that Brian for now here I did 110 visits 105 vis visits for Stacy 99 for Dr Lisa Thompson you know 95 for Stephanie I mean all these people that are up here that in the top list these are all people that I know you know pretty closely I can have conversation with them I've had conversation with them some of them even purchased my software as you can see right here I've got a status column and I can choose I can say you know uh, send you yukta here <clears throat> I can go to her and I can change her status to <clears throat> you know she purchased or, or <coughs> sorry I'm gonna <clears throat> So she purchased or or I, maybe I drop I drop her or because you know I decide I don't want to have her in my list anymore or what I mean obviously not I'm not this is just an example I'm just kind of saying that th these are the things you can do with the lead and you can kind of put that under your control the temperature right here which is all hot because these are all people that I visit so many times that they're hot but if I load more here <clears throat> there's like well we saw a number it's gone but we'll show you in a second what it is again so we have Cam Diane Carla Linda Bob Eli Anthony Aaron Birch right here which you know I visited yesterday <coughs> these this is the this is when I visited them 24 days ago two days ago seven days ago yesterday 22 hours ago anything that's within the current day will show green I'm sorry um but <clears throat> you can see I have 33,381 leads right you don't get that many leads when you first start using software because it'll give you the leads that it finds in the groups you tell it to but over time these numbers will grow because you might go to a different group and it also it will pick up the the people that you're actually engaging on the feed so if you decide to go to the news feed and engage on somebody's post so this is I didn't think this would be if you decide to engage on somebody's post in the news feed or in any group or wherever you want like Sarah right here I can comment on this and her name's going to show up in my list even if she's never been in any of the groups that I it'll still show up here and they'll start to add up now the other thing you can do too is you can say you know what I want to I want to engage with people that at least have mentioned me this is the mentions right here see Stephanie's mentioned me 24 times 20, now this numbers are low uh, because this new feature was added just recently so that's why you know the mentions aren't uh, all num uh, they're not all filled up there's some zeros a lot of zeros that's only because the software didn't pick up until recently but if I I can sort by that I click on the M right here it'll sort me by the mentions how many times a person has mentioned me in their comments that's what that is if they mention me in a comment it'll add a, a you know plus one to this number for them and I can show you kind of where you see that too if I let this load up here so if I click see me Minashki here has mentioned me 45 times right Monte 40 times Kavina 40 37 for Deborah you know etc right so if I click on their names I can go visit their profile by clicking on their profile again here but I can also see right here <coughs> when the last visit was 
right and I also see mentions here now it says five because it only loads the last five of of the posts the comments and the mentions I can clearly reload all to load them all so if I do this it'll just reload the whole the whole thing because it's got to go back to the database and get it 51 mentions so if I click on this now it loads me up the mentions so these are the mentions that she mentioned me if I click on any of these it'll take me to that post that she mentioned me so I can go load that up and it's loading up that specific post on Facebook so I if I want to know right see she mentioned me right here right so she mentioned me right here on this post so that you can kind of get all that if you want but anyways that's that's a separate thing but it's kind of cool to know how many times somebody mentioned you versus somebody else right it says 45 here 51 that's because it's a different uh, number they should match but it's just a little feature that has to be improved but still the number is higher it's because there's more and uh and that's and you can choose to sort that that whichever way you want right you can I can sort on the comments who's has who have I commented on the most posts right not necessarily visits because I could visit somebody and they haven't posted since the last time I visited them so then that no, the visit is going to grow but the comments won't because there was no post to comment on right so if I sort by the comments then I can say who has most likely seen me the most you see earlier Brian was at the top right but now he's not there anymore I don't even know if he's Brian doesn't post a lot so even though I visit his profile all the time there's no not too many comments because he doesn't post all the time right but you can see right here that Stacy I commented 200 on 221 posts right so if I go on to look at the details here um what did I want to show you all oh, right so I can actually oh no these are her comments in groups these are her posts either on her profile or in groups it says right here see in group in group in group so it posted in the group uh, welcoming Tuesday wake up call that kind of stuff so this is where and the dates are here right the 24th of August 2022 so these are old I guess uh, uh, numbers or old post that data but that's kind of what you can do with all this and the idea here is that you would click on the names one after the other and you would spend just 30 minutes in the morning to go through about 20 of these and that's it you would be over your Facebook engagement would be over just one two three four I do 20 now you can do 10 if you want you can do five a day whatever you feel comfortable with right and that's kind of the idea you start off that way you go through the your 10 list the next day you go to another list me what I do is I put a number right here of six and that will make sure that I only see in that list that's right there I only see people that have not visited at least six days ago I don't know if you noticed that but in the list here there was some that I visited yesterday even some that I visited today you know two days ago three days ago where four days ago now this list is going to be updated and it'll show only people that visited either six days or more or people that I have not visited right so I mean that's kind of the other thing I can say I don't want the people that I don't want I can hide the ones I don't want right here right so that kind of stuff so I mean that's that's I mean it's like I'm just put visited hidden no don't show me hidden so that'll show that'll only show because you saw the the red the, the red hash mark on top of somebody's name there that's a hidden uh feel a hidden lead that I'm like well either they're not my target market or they don't want they I've had a conversation they said they don't want me to <clears throat> bug them or whatever so I just you know what I just don't bother seeing them again they're not in my list anymore and then I just see these and I, I can just visit these in that sequence and then I'm done for the day like I said that's how you do it that's why you want to use active group user software right you want to use it because let's just go back here you want to use it because well, number one you want to drastically reduce your time on Facebook so you do it you basically end up spending 30 minutes per day instead of four to six hours right the number two reason is so that you know where you stand with every single lead right and uh, just because you can look at the list and you say you can say that <clears throat> you've seen this person you know they've seen your comments 20 times so I probably could have a conversation with them and they wouldn't just ignore me 
And that's all we want, right? We want to have conversations with people to see if they're open to what we have, to see if they have, they see any value in what we've got and to see obviously if they buy it, but there's no sense in them buying it if they're not going to see value in it, right? So that's what you want. You want to have a conversation so to see if they're even open to hearing about you. But if you don't, if you do it without building a rapport through comments and engagement first, then you're going to get a whole bunch of no's and a whole bunch of ignores whereas if you use active group users to track that then you're going to know exactly when it's time to have a conversation with somebody that's all that's what we all want that's what you want is to know when it's time to reach out to somebody so if you want to know how to do this there's a bunch of training we have but you can go ahead to go to activegroupusers.com and actually let's just put that right here actually I have it on here you just go to activegroupusers.com and you get your free account actually you can set up a free trial for 14 days uh which allows you to do up to fifth it gives you uh anyways the different plans whatever I'm not going to get into that but you just go there get that start your 14 day free trial and then if you um if you decide you want to use the software longer then there's different plans you even have a free plan if you just if you're okay with that but the other plans let you do more and keep track of more leads and more groups and all that right so go check it out activegroupusers.com and we'll see you on the other side this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time.